Hi guys, welcome to Tech Town. So as in the previous videos, guys, we have discussed about the properties of the NumPy. So I have told you like how you can change the data, like type of the data from float to integer as I've shown you in this example. Okay. And I have also told you the difference between the copy and the view. So in this video, we will discuss about some of the more features of the NumPy. So how you can do it, just focus on the screen, guys. So the first is guys, which is array sort. Okay. As we have done the sorting before also. So this will be like similar. Okay. So now we will just start from this import and P. Okay, guys. See. So now what we have to do, we have to create an array, suppose a A. Okay. And then NP dot array guys and after that you have to enter the elements like three four five six seven okay i hope that till here it is clear then you just have to simply print the array okay this is how you have to use uh, sorting So now if I print it, see I am getting this array sorted. Oh, sorry, it is already sorted. Okay, now let me just change the position of it. Suppose this four and this six. Now if I print this, see now it is showing me in the sorted form. Like for an example, now let's add a one here, a uh, twenty-eight here. Okay, now if I print this. Wait, I am getting an error. I have extra from here. See, guys, now the array is in a sorted form. Okay, so this is how you can perform the sorting. And you can also do it in a like this string form. Let me show you with an example, guys. Okay, for example, car, bike. Okay. example okay, i hope that this thing is very much clear guys i will just simply like add this string now so if i run this i am getting an error okay guys solved it is actually i was not having that comma like after the car so now we have the truck see guys now the result i am getting it is in the like sorted form in the alphabetical order okay so I hope that this is clear and you can also do it in a boolean form let me show you guys okay suppose we have a true then after the false see guys so this is how it is showing it as a started sorted form you can also filter array let me show you guys okay so it is just simple like it let me copy this okay now we have to like put the element suppose we create an array a and np dot array and in which we have to put our element suppose two five nine four seven okay so now what next thing we have to do we have to create another array give it the value a and in this we have to like put the value which one which we want true and you have to take care of the thing guys you have to type the first letter of true in a capital form or, or else it will show you an error i hope that this thing is very much clear Okay, so we have a five here. See guys, now if we print it, we are getting two and four because it is on the true value. I hope that this is also clear. Okay, you should practice this on once in your Anaconda. So now we will learn about the random numbers in the NumPy. So guys, first coming to the part, what are random numbers? So random numbers are like numbers that cannot be predicted like logically. So 
like there is not any logical like outcome for that number i call the random number okay so now how you can use the random number in the numpy so you have to like from i hope that guys it is clear to you all okay you have to import random from the numpy okay so you are importing it from the packages suppose we have a very like array a okay and we have to use now random okay so guys this is the syntax for using a random number so now you have to enter the number in which range you want the any random prediction number for example now i have entered the 100 so the random number that would be generated will lie from 0 to 100 okay so now if i print it see now i am getting the 84 now if i again print it now i am getting 8 okay see guys it is so interesting every time i will get a like new number this time i got the 0 wow okay so now if you think that what will be use of it okay so guys you are you may have heard about some online gaming apps that like dice throw okay so this can be done with this thing only okay see guys every time i will get the like new random number and i can change the range also here guys see if i add this see this is so interesting i can like see and apart from it guys you can also create float okay so let me change you have to just left it at the r a n d if i run this see now i am getting the float number that to add the random form and now coming to the part like how can we create random array so this thing can also be done guys okay so suppose let me keep the range 200 okay and the size of the array suppose i want a size of an array which is somewhere around like i want a 10 okay so now if i print it see i am getting a random array of the size 10 see guys it is very simple and interesting you can do number of things use things like it is used in ai and ml also see i hope guys that this thing is clear and now how to generate the random number from the array so you have to change this you have to use the choice here okay see you have to use the choice in which you have to enter the array suppose we have element 3 7 8 okay so now if i print this see i will get a random number from this array see if i again print it i'm getting the 5 this time i got the 7 okay so this is how it will work now coming to the next part which is guide data distribution okay so now coming to the part like what with what this word data distribution stand for so it is list of all possible values and how often each values occurs okay so we use random distribution in it rand a random distribution is a set of random numbers that follow a certain probability density function guys so this thing i will show you with an example so it will be very much clear to you now suppose guys we have to create a distribution let me copy this okay so now suppose i create an array name x and in which we have the element suppose i have to assign the random choice okay i hope that till here that everything is okay and now i have to give the element suppose we have five six four eight so in this guys we can give the probability also so let me set the probability okay it will set according to a position so for example for 5 i want the probability of 0 0.1 and for 
six i want zero point nine okay and for suppose four i want zero point four i hope guys that this thing is very much clear okay so probability is always lesser than one you maybe have listened this many time so we have to select the number less from one so for we have now 0.5 okay and now we have to set, set the size so now i have i want to have the size of uh, array somewhere around like five okay no suppose we have want 100 okay guys now i have to just end it now if i print a guys we, we have done one basic like error here we have like some of the probability more than one so we have to make it less guys we have done a blender four two six six and now we have a two okay and now we have a one here okay so it is four to six eight so now we have a two here okay now if i run this see i hope that this thing is clear if you will notice that four will be like more than the array number because the probability is like more for the four so this is how guys you can do the data distribution i hope guys that these all part of the numpy is very much clear to guys okay and please subscribe to our channel defton